Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video and hit the bell button so you will be updated on my next session or on my next video because right now, as a previous on my, uh, my last video, we will learn how to read notes and how to read chords and how to read pedal on this session and I will show you two chords on how to how to apply that chords all together with your right hands with your left hands and with your foot our chord for today we will learn the chord C and G7 okay so just stay tuned and watch the full video Okay guys, so let's start on here, so remember, on the two black notes, the first one is your Do, so this is your Do, okay, so this is your Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. But on this note, they have a corresponding letter. So this is your Do, it's letter C. Okay. Your Re is letter D. Your Mi is letter E. Your F is letter F. Your Sol is letter G your la or l is letter a and your t or c is letter b and this is your higher c so again because this is two block close together the first note is your c this is your lower c and this is your, sorry, this is your higher C and this is your lower C. And for the notes, so this is, all of this is the notes. And this is their name. And this is their count. So note number one, whole note. Of course, the name is whole note. They have four counts. It's like one, two, three. 3 and 4 so this is your half note look like name is half note and you have two counts 1 and 2 this one is quarter note and you have only one count 1 and this is your 8 notes so if you see a note with tail probably that's 8 note and that's the name and they have one count it means a bit faster one okay okay now let's go here on the paper or the uh, music sheet this line they have a five line they call it line and they space they call it space. They have four space. And this one, they call it G clef. So when you see a node look like this, or even they have even they have a tail like that. If that if that node is placed on this area, they call it Do. The next one is Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti. This is your higher Do. Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti. And this is a, another higher Do. 
So if you see a node placed on that area, they have a corresponding name for that node. So it's easy for you to hit the nodes here on the organ key. Okay? And the first door, we call it middle C. And you can see another notes here going down. That's a lower Re, lower Mi, lower Fa, so on and so forth. So again, all the notes placed on your worksheet, they have a corresponding key on your organ. The top level. This Okay, and now let's talk about chord. In your chord, they have a corresponding name on it. They call it um, chord sign. It's like this one. So this one is your pedal sign. Every time you see a triangle that's going up, it means you need to press your pedal. This is your pedal. Okay? So every time you see a triangle that goes up, it means you need to press your pedal here. And for your chord sign, this is your chord sign. Every time you see a line that's going up, it means that's your chord sign. And you need to press your chord, not here, because this is your notes on the upper layer of your organ. The second layer is your chord. And this is your chord. Okay? So again, I will use a flute and piano sounds here on the bottom. And flute on the notes. So again, that is your chord sign. You have a pedal sign and you have a chord sign. Pedal is for your foot, left foot, and chord is your uh, uh, li this line is your chord sign for your left hand. And my right foot is just stay here to my control volume so that's my control volume I stay my right foot on my control volume and my left foot is hit the pedal cord and now let's talk about and learn how to play or how to press C chord and G7 chord. Okay, now let's start to play or press the C chord and G7 chord. On your lower layer of your organ, so this is Do, this is Do, the third Do, we will start our chord or the this is sol and this is another sol so on this area we will start our chord let's start on C chord on the lower area or lower level of your organ so this is higher level because we have two key two, two, two uh, level here and this is your lower lower level. So, okay, let's start. On chord C, we need to press three notes. Number one is Sol. Second is Do. Third is Mi. And each note they have a corresponding finger, and your finger. You remember they have a numbering on each finger 
on let on sol we need to use fifth finger the pinky on do we need to use the pointer finger which is number two and me we need to press we need to use the thumb means number one it goes like this sol number five do number two and c or me number one and this is the sounds of c chord again so that's the sounds of c chord sol number five do number two me number one C and for your C this is your chord remember the sign of your chord is the line that goes up they have a corresponding sign or they have a corresponding notes for your C on your pedal so this is your pedal do re mi fa so la ti higher do on c when you press your c you need to press your do lower do at the same time okay you need to press your do together with your chord at the same time do pedal do and your chord at the same time it goes like this so that is your c And for G7, we need to press three notes. Sol, T, and Fa. For Sol, number five. For T, T number three. And for Fa, number one. And this is your G7 chord Okay and on your chord they have a corresponding pedal Again this is C Re is your D Mi is your E Fa is your Fa Sol is your G So this is your Corresponding pedal for G7. So this is G7. Okay, and this is the pedal for G7. As you can see. And this is C. You need to put your finger here. From here, you need to change here. And the pedal is here. So C and G7 watch out for your finger C and G7 C and G7 C and G7 so I want you to practice this over and over again for you to familiarize your foot for C and chord and your foot for G7 and chord and now let's apply C chord G7 chord and this is notes let's apply this in music so again this is G, G clef on one bar this is what we call bar 
we have a four count so this is fourth fourth eight bit in your music and this is fourth fourth and the count is four one two three and four in one bar and we use C chord and they have a notes of Mi, Re, Do, and Re. For the Mi, we need to use number 3 on your right finger. Re is number 2 for your right finger. Do, number 1, again on your right finger. Re, number 2 on your right finger and this is sign of your chord lines going up together with your pedal so it means you need to press one at a time stay up to fourth count and then release before you hit the second note after this bar line okay and then we need to follow G7, Mi for number 3, Re for number 2. So this is what we call dotted half note because this is the half sign note and they have a dotted, they have a dot, okay? And they have a four count. So even though they have, even though they don't have notes here, we need to count counts before we jump to another bar so it means mi re three and four and then jump on g7 again it means we need to release the g7 here because this is g7 we need to release our g7 chord and then press again the g7 chord and apply together with your pedal and your chord and the, the the note is mi re do re for this bar and for the last one is do and you need to count two and three and four and release rest okay because this is a whole note and they have a corresponding number each note for your finger okay so let's apply this let's use the upper key now the upper line of your organ okay so again this is do re mi and this is your note we will start on Mi, Re, Do, Re. And this is how it looks like. So don't use the lower Mi. This is your first Mi, second Mi. Let's use the third Mi. So for the third Mi, we need to put our finger number three. Mi. Number two is Re. Number uh, Do is number one. Re again is number two. It's like one, two, three, four. Four counts. One, two, three, four. Four counts. So let's play now. Number three for me. Number two for Re. Number one for Do. And a number, another number two for Re. And for your chord, Sol. Number five, Do. Number two, Mi. Number one. Together with your pedal so let's start 
Mi Re Do Re Four counts One Two Three Four Okay, again One Two Three Four And for G7 We need to change it From C To G7 So again, your G7 is Sol Number five T Number three and F for number one and your pedal is letter G and we need to press the Mi number three Re number two and we need to count three and four to complete the four count in one bar it goes like this Mi Re three and four okay and then the second one we, we need to release the G7 and press it again together with your pedal and goes like this Mi Re Do Re release we need to change again on letter C chord and then whole note Do number one and they have a four count Do two three and four so it goes like this one two three four G7 three two three and four release and press it again one, two, three, four, four counts, release, change to C from G7, change to C, Do, one, two, three, and release. Again. Three and four. One, two, three, and four. So I want you to pra practice your fingering here. We use only four notes here: Do, Re, Mi, Fa, and we have we use two chord C and G7 together with your pedal. So I want you to practice that over and over again for you to. Uh, memorize or not memorize familiarize on your fingering here and your fingering in your chord from C to G7 C G7 C and G7 and your chord is Mi Re Do Re Mi Re 2 3 and 4 Mi Re, Do, Re, Do, 1, 2, 3, and 4, Mi, Re, Do, Re, G7, Mi, Re, 3, and 4, again G7, Mi, Re, Do, Re, 1, 2, 3, and rest. Alright guys, that's it for now and hope you like it and hope you learn something about C chord, G7 chord, how to read notes and how to read counts. So again, thank you very much. Please subscribe, like and share this video to your friends and hit the bell button for more video update like this. Because next time, we will learn again another chords and another notes for our next session so thank you very much